Hey everyone, No Stigma Steve coming at you with another video. Um, this is part of my medical cannabis series where I examine office holders in Northern Illinois and examine their records and their positions on both medical marijuana and recreational marijuana. I grew up in this area of Rockford, Illinois. know a lot about uh, just how things work around here. Uh, the person we're going to be talking about has been around forever, and it is Dave Severson. Dave Severson was first elected uh, in District 34 as a state senator in 1993. He served there till 2013, where he was defeated by Steve Stottleman. Severson then went over to the 35th, in one there, and he's been their uh, senator since. Um, Severson has a long history with medical marijuana. He was actually one of two Republicans to flip over and to vote the pilot program into existence. Uh, he did this mainly um, to show that uh, he that Republicans could vote for vices. Um, there's long been a history with wanting to bring casinos to Rockford to generate money. Rockford is a Rust Belt city. We've lost basically all of our employers. Um, and because of that, you've seen all the problems that are associated with job loss in Rust Belt cities increase. So a lot of addiction here, a lot of opiate use. Um, it's problems like that, which have made, uh, I, I think, Senator Severson a little more open to cannabis than your average Republican. If you look at his record, he voted um, for decriminalizing less than 10 grams. He voted for the pilot program. Basically, anything medical marijuana related, he's voted uh, for. So when we get to recreational mar marijuana, that's where uh, we go... Um, into uh-oh territory. He's very firmly said that he does not believe in legalizing recreational marijuana in, in Illinois. I don't understand why. <laughs> if we want to have casinos and we want to bring tourists to Rockford, then one of the great ways to do it is by legalizing marijuana. Um, marijuana has been growing in this region of Illinois for a long time, just done illegally. There's a lot of great places to grow marijuana around Rockford, and people do do it. Um, I don't know what the current situation is like, but you know, even 10 years ago, um, it was a hotbed. So the people that can do it are already here. So I don't see why you wouldn't want to, con you know, uh, support recreational marijuana. But Severson doesn't want to. Heather uh, Staines and Kelly Cassidy, they introduced a bill that Pritzker has acknowledged that he would sign that would legalize medical marijuana. Um, that is actually my old representative, Heather uh, Staines. Uh, she was my former representative and uh, good on her for introducing this bill. So where does that leave us? Um, I mean, I'm not. I, mean, I wouldn't vote for Severson for a lot of reasons. I mean, there's just politically we don't align. I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum of him. I do um, have to say that anytime that I've met um, Severson personally, he's been very pleasant. He, I see he's a nice guy. Um, I'm pretty sure if I said who I was, what my name is, he'd know who I am. He definitely would know my family. So nothing personal against him. He's dealt with a lot of stuff in, in his family that um, might make him a little bit more open-minded um, than most um, Republicans. So he's someone that you could probably work with, but um, if you want recreational marijuana, if you, if you want someone that's going to be pro-cannabis, you're not going to find it in Severson. You're going to find someone that will probably listen to you at the most. So, hopefully um, this helps out. Next, I'm going to examine um, Steve Stottleman. And with him, I've got a lot of issues because, um, you know, he's a supposedly progressive, but his position on marijuana is not. So, thanks for watching, and uh, keep tuned. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.